we're going to calculate the mean for a specific item. Uh, we've looked at this equation before and we're going to apply this equation in Excel. You have to download uh, an Excel file and I've already done that over here and what we need to calculate is, let's see, we need to calculate the sum for a specific item. Um, I'm not going to do exactly item 3, but let's say uh, I'm going to do it for item, uh, item 5. So we have to calculate the sum, we have to uh, uh, calculate the amount of answers for that uh, specific uh, item, uh, and well, that's basically the things we need to calculate the mean. So let's uh, uh, add uh, the sum and let's add the count and let's add the mean for... Uh, I'm going to do it for item 5. So I can use the sum function. This is the sum function. And I want to sum all items uh, uh, K5 for all uh, the per uh, the persons that have answered them. So this is person 1 to 10. Uh, so in other words, K5 and J1 to capital N. So we're going to sum up, add up all these values. Close the parenthesis and this is the amount. Next uh, thing we need is n, uh, and of course we can immediately see that there are 10 observations here, but we can also use the function count for this, and we also have to count all these values, and then Excel counts those 10 people. Wow. <laughs> uh, finally, we have to calculate the mean, and the mean, if we go back to the formula, is dividing the sum by uh, the total number of observations. So if we divide this one with that one, we're done. 